We move on to Ashley, who's covering uh, the markets. We always wait for a couple of minutes, Ashley, for the, the numbers to settle right on yeah. Wall Street. And as they do, do that, it looks like this is crazy. We're down 915 points on a Friday and we still won't we have the best week since the 30s. Yes, yeah, since 1938. And let's not forget, Congress actually passed a $2 trillion stimulus bill. We're off 900 points for the Dow. But the bigger picture, you're right, Connor, is it has been the best week for the Dow since 1938. The S&P having its best week since 2008. And the Nasdaq up 11 percent. All in all, despite all the red, a lot more positives this week. Although, let's face it, the volatility is definitely still around. The Dow and S&P also up about 9 percent individually for the week. Week. Now, I want to take a look at some of the uh, uh, stocks that have been moving today. One of the leaders of the Dow this week, believe it or not, given what it did today, is Boeing. Let's take a look at Boeing if we can. Down today, as you can see, 10 percent. It's down because... The Treasury Secretary Mnuchin says that the plane maker will not be using any federal money. Uh, some analysts say, eh, I'm not so sure that's true. They may not have a choice. There were reports uh, earlier that Boeing may be looking for $60 billion from the government. Boeing says no, but uh, the analysts are a little more skeptical. Still among the Dow leaders, up nearly 70 percent this week. Boeing, let's not forget, it was under 100 bucks a, sh uh, uh, a share not so long ago. So despite today, still a good uh, week for uh, Boeing. Let's take a look at Disney. We've got some late-breaking news on uh, Disney. Cheryl mentioned this, but Disneyland and Disney World uh, announcing they will continue to be closed until further notice. The stock, as you can see, down 8 half percent. They say, though, that they will expend, uh, extend, that is, paying parks and resort cast members through April the 18th. So those folks, of course, not at work. They will be paid through April 18th. But Disney is hard to believe, isn't it? But both parks closed until further notice. These are strange times indeed. Back to you guys. Strange times, to put it mildly. Uh